I just actually met Leola last night. Um, I've, I've, I've seen your place and I live just down the street from you. Yeah. And I've been wanting to... In I'm the old call. station house. Oh, the, yeah. Uh-huh. He's been down the road right. Yeah. He moved up where we're right now. Oh, he did. So he used to live down here. He used no, the house you oh, lived in. Oh, yeah, I heard it was moved. Where was it? Yeah, the depot was on the side of the depot. Of the depot? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay. So on this this side, the west side of the depot? Yes. Huh. Right by the railroad tracks then? A or little close. Bad, oh, but yeah. I, I know where, where you're talking, actually. Yeah. But the... I got a name right there. Right, yep. He moved the house and the playhouse. And the little station for the, the guy made a really facility. And then he moved that house up there so his daughter could live in. Oh, okay. And then he ran the police station. The station? I think it was the Phillips 66. Okay, Phillips 66 station. I knew, I'd heard that there was a gas station right there, that yeah. right next to it. That's, and he lived in the White House now, he oh. and his wife. Mm -hmm. And she was a perfect P U R B I S. Cambridge. Yep, I know. I've heard the name Purvis. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you'll see a lot of cycles in town with his name on. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Well, Marva told me that it was moved, but I never knew where. He said the south side of town, but I never knew where exactly it was moved. A uh, meme in the house. Yeah. You live in. I, the, the one I live in, yeah. Yeah. He told me that, but I, so th thank you for sharing that with me. But, um. Yeah. I, oh, boy. <laughs> well, I just, uh, so I, when I'd heard about you, Lonnie was saying that you'd, uh, you know, taught school at some of the one room schoolhouses around town. And, uh, you know, you being 96 years old now and, uh, I just wanted to see what you all knew and remembered of all those years of, um, and just growing up here, being from the area. Yeah. So uh, I guess to start with, do uh, you want to, since this is a I new was record. born south of Houston, Rochester County, Houston, Nebraska. But I was, uh, I was born in November of 25, and... March of 26, moved north of Hobart, west of the cemetery, on the creek known as the Cooper, T-O-O-P-E-R, ranch. The Cooper Ranch, yeah. So that was on the west side of the cemetery? Yes. Okay. There's a road the cemetery go back uh -huh. the farm. Okay. Yeah. That's a G. Glanzer owns it now. Yep, Gene Glanzer has a. Mm -hmm. And then in the early 30s, we moved into Norwalk. And we lived where the floral shop used to be. Mm -hmm. That was the 90 shop. Yep, and that was Dickie Stagemeyer's flower right. shop. Did that, you know, that antique store over there, mm -hmm. that used to be a flower shop. Oh. And uh, one of my relatives used to run that for a long time, oh. like 40 years. And he also had a band. Oh, so it's called a good orchestra. Yeah, he, he was, uh, he played in the band or he played the organ and stuff, but he was called Dick Stagmeyer's Orchestra. Mm -hmm. And he was well known, all, all yeah. they played all over. All over, mm -hmm. yeah. But he was actually killed in a car accident in, oh, the, the 60s or 70s, maybe, or maybe even after that. I'd have to Probably look up the year. That. Yeah, it was like late 70s, maybe. So, yeah. So you lived in that, where the flower shop yes. is when you moved into town, is what you right. were saying. 
And how was, long did you live there? I cannot tell you. Okay. Then from there, moved over on the bus bridge of Hallbrook. Okay. In a brown house. At that time, it was a brick path house. And the house they took out in the East Port on the corner of the short list was was the brick path house. Okay. And walked from here down there to pay the bread. Oh. Nice. Yeah. So so then you the Red Path house, it was a brown house, the west side there. It was a brown house. Mm hmm When we moved there, the two front rooms were very small. The two back rooms were larger. Uh Patents lived in the back two rooms and we lived in the front two rooms. Okay. Then when the pad moved to Missouri, we got the whole house. Okay. So you shared it with the patents yeah. for a while. If Max Patent P A C T I N and Baldwin Patent with his boy's names. Anyway, the Miss Patton was a Holcomb, H-O-L-C-O-M-B, mm -hmm, lived in East Park Town. Her name was Edith. Edith Holcomb? Holcomb. Okay. Yeah, there's still some Holcombs around here now, I know. So, and, and you were telling me yesterday about, was that when you lived over here that you were talking about the football field being over here? Uh, on the west yeah. side of town. Right. Because... They moved the east part of town, they moved it over there. <coughs> and I think what Bree is getting at, I had a football. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you like I couldn't them. go outside and play till I got my homework done, my short done, and I could go out and play. And the kids right before she got out there with the football. It was slow, we played drive, D-R-I-V-E. Okay. We had two teams. And one team would kick the football, and for a few touches, then you kick the football back to the other team. Hmm. First, see how far we would drive the other team back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you were saying you were pretty popular because you were the only one in town with a football. Right. <laughs> the girl was I the was only the, one in town I with a football. I like the boy as a girl. And his woman's lived back then, too. <laughs> yeah. They were all the boys' best friends. Yeah. Best friends. Yeah, at the time, they put out the track deals for the little one you run and jump over. We did that, too. Oh, yeah. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. So as she was saying that the football field was out there, but they moved it from down. It used to be where the elevator, like oh. where that Ag Valley is now. That's where it originally was. Okay. And then they moved it over here and then okay. over to where it is now. Then in uh, March of 1939, we moved to a farm south of Oak. Two miles south, two miles but known as the Scott Mooring Place. Scott Mooring Place. Okay, I didn't know that that's where Mooring's live, because that's where Keith lives now, is that yes. correct? Right west of the Troopy Place? Yes, Leo Troopy over the fence mm -hmm. with these peacocks. He had peacocks? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I never knew that. And sometimes they get over our way. Oh, wow. And was the call and tell them the peacocks were over there, our blood. <laughs> Just send them back over? They flew back over the fence, or do you have to catch them? <laughs> I heard it's pretty fun trying to catch peacocks. They're you hard would to catch. never know the place now. Mm -hmm. Moving in there, in the front yard, by the fence, 
in this corner was a kind of like a peaceful water built up behind. Oh. And then the north part of the driveway was nothing but apple trees. Apples, wow, yeah. And south of the house was apple trees. And mother sold apples 50 cents a bushel. 50 cents a bushel for apples, wow. And <laughs> some people come and pick up the windfalls, and some would get them from the tree. That's what someone was telling me today is that most people don't realize how big a real apple tree is because most people have dwarf varieties in their yards, which are smaller. But a big apple tree, um, yeah, they yeah. were saying they, they picked like 50 bushels off of one apple tree. Yeah. Which is, that's a ton of apples. And then north of that was a fence to go to the field. Mm -hmm. And that's from mother British turkeys. Oh, turkeys, yeah. Those, there was a lot more of those back then. Right. A lot of people seemed to have turkeys, didn't they? So that was, was that 34 or 35 you said that you moved out there? Yeah, 1935. No, I moved to the farm in 39. 39 is when you moved You're to the farm. I was a freshman. A freshman. Okay. And so you were a freshman at Holbrook? You went to Holbrook? All 12 years. Yep. Okay. My first grade teacher was Maddie M. A T T I E Hauser H A U S E R uh -huh. from down Brown Nelson. Oh, okay. And then she made a homework man, Ben Philipson. Oh, Philipson. And she also taught in Rockville School. Mm -hmm. She was Philipson there, but yeah. My third and fourth grade teacher was Edith Burroughs, B U R R O U D H, from Beatrice in Boston. She met a local over guy, Christensen, Otto, and she became Mrs. Christensen. Okay. My fifth grade teacher was Amy Adele from Holbridge. My sixth grade teacher was Bernard Swayze. She lived over on the far street in the first house from the highway. Okay. And then she married uh, Sim Wilmot, W-L-M-O-G. At that time, he liked the like with the bikes is now the city of Hope. Okay, yeah. So w did you say her last name was Swayze? Uh huh. Like the street, Swayze Street is that right. street right there. Okay, that's what I thought you said. Yeah. Then my seventh and eighth right here was Ila Kennedy. She married a local guy, a caress. C A R E S S. Oh. Mm -hmm. And the name was the Russian beyond the Vegas now. Yeah. And Crash burned that Russian. Really? Mm -hmm. And then she married. He passed away. And then she married Junior Phelps. P H E L P S. And she had money by the crash, and then with Phil, she had a boy. Okay. And she was down from Riverton Way. Oh, yep. Hmm. Then high school, we had several teachers, right? Yeah, mm hmm. And so you graduated in 1943 then? Right. Okay. So right during World War II? Right during the right. middle of World War II. Well, it was 
um, but they still had a graduating class all those years and stuff. Right. The first time you seen Vector City Hall from oh. National Force 992. I'm working on them. Going, I I'm working on taking pictures of all of them so I can put them on the online. Oh. But yeah, I'm I'm to 1930 right now, so I, I'm, uh, I'm getting getting close. My family, my mother's a Wilson family, I got a little man. Her first sister was in 1915, but 1918 was her sister to In 1924 was her sister Catherine, mother Edith was in 1923. And then my last mother friend graduated in 27, Bill, or William Wilson. Okay. And she had a brother that went to school James, but he only went through 10th grade. Oh. He likes you. <laughs> So the Wil Wilsons, were they from down by Wilsonville? Was it that same family? No. Different family? They lived they north were... of Holbrook. Okay. I don't know, but they lived in a dugout. A dugout? Then her dad built two rooms on the dugout. Then there's a hog farm north of Holbrook. Uh-huh. My grandfather went and built a two-bedroom house at that location. Really? Okay. Yeah, I know where that is. Yeah. It's, it's. I don't think it's. The house isn't still there, is it? No. It's gone. It all tore down the new buildings. Mm -hmm. Where the hog farm is. Yeah. Yes. And then from there, my grandfather moved out to the Cooper Ranch. Oh, this. the Cooper, yeah. And that's really my folks moved down on the Cooper Ranch to help him out. Uh, my mother, my grandma, were all sick with cancer. Oh, yeah. And then my Uncle Bill lived with us and he worked in the bank with the Curries. Okay, with the Curries, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. Warren and, uh, and Sam. Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, cause Sam started, or Warren or Sam, one of them started that bank. Yeah. Or helped start it. The bank of Rock for Kathy and Al, it was broke. In 1929. Yeah. Yeah, the market crash is when that, that one closed. So yeah, that would have been yeah. when you were still living in town there. Yeah. When they had the flood in 1935, we were in town. That was going to be my next question, was about the flood, because you were in town. Was but, that, you were living over here at that yeah. time? Yeah. But guess what? I was not in town. Oh. I was the 20 miles north of the break of my grandfather's flood. Oh. <laughs> But did you have family in town when it when it happened? Yeah, or? mom and dad. Mom and dad. And uh, up the street, on that corner, north of the Sway house, was a police station. Also there, my dad worked there. I knew they put uh, sacks or something by the screen door. So more was like in the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know where like Shabins live now. Yeah. That there was quite a bit of water there. I know. Or, but the water right down the street, about where your father lives, the house, another house. Fanny Bangwinkle was next. She ran the media shop. Okay, Van Winkle. Mm -hmm. And my mother helped her in her house 
from the flesh to the marble jumbo. So, do you remember when they had the hospital where Carter's live now? Yes. And but they moved that. Did they move it at some point, or did no. the flood take it out? No. They never moved it. The people that run the you run the life. The life plant. I think the name of the colony, C O L O N Y. Oh. Okay. And so then, did they use that building for anything after the that hospital was there, or did it stay there? It just stayed there. As far as no one's made the house, uh -huh. or whatever. Hmm. That's what I. Yeah. I always wondered what, because it, it used to be so big, but there's not much left of it now. Yeah. No, the rest of No. Did you know that, that where Carter's lived, that White House right there, that used to be a huge hospital? I didn't know that. Yeah. I'll, I'll try to find a picture of it. But do you, so there is the opera house here in town at one time, where the fire barn is? The barn over the Masonic. Oh, the... Masonic Lodge is a great building for the opera house. <coughs> yep, right next to it there. No, this building was... Oh, that was the opera house? Yes. Where the Masonic Lodge is now? Yes. Okay. That's what I was told. Okay. And we used to have graduation from the high school there. Mm-hmm. I've been told my mother. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I was always wondering, or I was trying to find a picture of it, but I'd never been able to find one. But that would make sense if that was the opera house. Yes, that was the opera house. Later years, it was the lodge upstairs, but during WPA time, I mean, that was kind of recreation for the kids to go play or whatever. Oh, yeah. Basement. Did anyone live there during that time? No. The, okay. But I mean, in the flesh, you go, kids you go play games or whatever. And they use it like the, a shower for somebody getting married. They would have it down there. Mm -hmm. And so you were back to what you were saying, you lived down there at the, the mole ring place. Then it began with, uh, with the proud play, P-R-O-U-D. And he was a lawyer, your friend, and my father. My folks used to go to him to have the taxes done. Uh -huh. And he told them a lot of history about the farm proud play. And it was a little house, but you know how it stands out now. They built all that new upstairs and former mm -hmm. house. They had that to the house. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know what it is now, but there's a door with glass in it from the dining room to the hallway. In fact, you see down the hall. Mm -hmm. It's. Uh, I th thought that was interesting because that the place she's talking about is where like Keith Andrews lives now on the River Road, which is right next to where I grew up and my parents lived. So she was yeah. next door neighbor to my um, great grandparents and stuff when she Don lived there. Don Andrews. Don Andrews. They built the house around the church. Yeah, and so where Jaden's dad lives oh. now, that was my great grandparents built that house. Oh. When they moved. When they moved into town. Yeah. In fact, 
Is that Dick Bice? Your grandpa. My grandpa is Dick Andrews. Yeah. He came to California one time. And her mom. And oh, yeah. Both. <laughs> oh, did he stay with, or he came with them? With them. Oh. He must see that Mary. Yeah. Andrews. He oh. never married. Uh-huh. Then when they got ready to come home, they put him up there and came back with them. Hmm. That's, yeah, I never, I knew he went out there to visit her. I never knew he went with your parents. Yeah. I was trying to find a picture of the... We're all connected. Yeah. Whether you like it or not. And so did you stay in that house till you graduated? Yeah. I left there probably in 1950. But she never, and he decided to go on to California. And that's where I'm at now. Uh -huh. I've been in my house in California 65 years. Wow. Where where at in California? In Norwalk. Norwalk? Oh, so That's, that but that before you went to California, you taught yeah, for, I taught for six a couple years. years. Six years? And to right for one year. Okay. So, uh, let's go through that. I know I talked to you about that a little yesterday, but the first school you taught at was out south. By it was first south of the going to Bostonville. I don't know why. It was called the Robinson School. The Robinson School. You heard many of money the friends. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. But it was their folks. This is the first house to yeah, the school. Okay. About half of that to the and so you taught there for just one year? One year. And then I moved, I guess you called the trophy house. Fetch your bus to the car and south, beyond Bob Mills. The school was on this side. Um, yeah. So you taught at that one too? One year. One year. Okay. Now I'm at North of Hobart. That's the house. And that's where I taught early. Yeah. Near Marquez. Wallace Shelman, Roger Rodenbach. Early. And she's five years old. Did you, were you saying the Huck, uh, was there a Huckemeyer at that one or that was a different? The different. Different one. But she, she was telling me yesterday when she taught at several one-room schoolhouses, so by, by Wilsonville and then right by my parents where I grew up. But then she went up north of Holbrook and she taught right by my grandpa Stagemeyer's. And she taught my grandpa Stagemeyer in 1945 in that one-room schoolhouse. So early Stagemeyer. Yeah. Yeah. Irene. What's that? What was her name? Irene. Augusta. Irene and Gusta were my great grandkids. Did you stay? She was yes. So she was actually born a Wenlin, but her her dad died in a drowning accident when she was two years old, and so her mom got remarried to a Schiffelbein. I thought I'm been thinking about this. I don't even know. Yep, no. Nope, so. I don't remember what I was thinking of her name. Oh, Irene, yeah. Her dad. Yep, I remember. I never got to meet Gusta, but I, Irene was still, she lived to be in her mid 90s or uh, yeah, at least. Yeah, so, she heard that. So I, I remember her. She she passed when I was 10 or 12. So, or around then. She blew through all the time. Early, it was Marla. Yep. And she was Yep. So Merlin was the oldest, and then Early was the middle child, and then Marlene is the youngest. She's in Montana, right? Yep, and Marlene's still alive. She's still in Montana. And she's the only one. The boys are gone. The boys are gone. Merlin died in 92, and Early died in 2016. So Early died about six, six years ago. 
Yeah, he was a he was a really nice guy. Yeah. But but yeah, Marlene, she moved to Montana in like the seventies and she taught at the University of Montana forever. Yes. And still lives there and she was in charge of their student teacher program. She placed all the teachers in the schools and stuff. Is your mom home? So yeah, the and so you taught at that school there north of Holbrook. One, one year. One year. That moved down to the Huckamire School. The Huckamire School. There two years. Okay. And that was your last school? No. Or no? Then I took a vacation. That moved to the Ruffle. You got Ruffle, you got to Oldridge, and the first road north. Yep. You mentioned did he uh, make a left or right? Made a right and so was on that dish. Oh. Now that's who was in first county and Gosford County. So I had two superintendents. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they kept you in line then with two of them. She said she had two superintendents <laughs> since it was Furnace and Gosford County School. The, and so you said like Rich Brining was one of your students there? Yeah, Robert and Richard. Robert and Richard. Two Brinings. Two Browns. Two Browns. Yes, and uh, we're right you put by this year. She was in the care home. Mm, okay. She married a houser and the, this is bringing very hard. Okay. This has been the job for Ray Horton. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, Rodney Hines. Yeah. Jim Brown. And the Jim Brown, I think, uh, that was there. Okay. Uh, and so, and Rich, we were saying last night that Rich Brining's place was one of the ones that got burnt in the fire. Yeah, how the body got burnt in there, and mm -hmm. they lived there. Yeah, both. Now he's there, both there, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, and so, oh, while we're talking about those schoolhouses, I was going to show you a picture. Okay. Because there's... These are these are information and stuff about Gosford County Schools, because my early that one you said Bishop that early Gosford County, uh -huh. the one the one yeah, I don't do you know what that one was called? No, I don't. I don't even remember the street number. Yeah, have you ever heard of a school called Sleepy Hollow in Gosford County? Yeah. Do you know where that would be, or where it was at, um, or like what part of the county it would have been? I'm not sure, but the school you went north, you went east, you also correct, and there's a school right there. Okay. So I was going to show you this one. Because this is one of the Stagemeyer schoolhouse that you taught at, with my grandpa in it. This is 1949, so this would have been a few years after you were there. Yeah, I'm 43, 44, 44, 44, 46, 47. Because we were figuring that it was probably 1945 when you were yeah, at there. 46, 47. Uh huh. We pick up four, 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 three, four, 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 five, four, five, four, 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 five, four, six. My third year I built there. So here's the picture. Oh my God. So it's Mrs. Garnett Skinner, 
is the teacher. And then we have Richard Knowltonsmeyer. And Knowltonsmeyer. Charles Chambers. Yeah. Dorothy Chambers. That I don't know. Early Stagemeyer. Right. And that's that's all in the back row there. And then so that's this would be very embarrassing. This would be early right there. Yeah. And then Marlene is right there. Oh. Now Marlene knows why I'm back here probably. There. Yeah, the, oh, Clarence? Chambers is true. Yep, no. Chambers, Knowlton's Myers, the Rodenbecks, Connie Rodenbeck, Connie Graining now. Right. I had her cousin Roger. Oh, Rodenbeck. Roger. Yeah. Her cousin. And Keith Heisler. And Keith Rodenbeck. So. Uh, my, No, I hate clothes and brush. No, I'm glad you shared that. Yeah, I just thought that you would enjoy seeing that. Oh, and then this one is another one. So this is later. This is 1952 Halloween uh, at that Stagemeyer school, and that's Twyla Huxall's the teacher. Oh, yeah. And they're... And some of the boys are dressed up as girls, it looks like. Hey, Keith, yeah, boy. Keith Rodenbeck. And Connie and Willard Stillman. Yeah. Keith Heisler. You know what? Lush. We have a lot of night for two years. Let me tell you. Back two years ago, at the... I'll bring a lot of This guy turned, he met full of showmen. He said, I brought him from Denver. And I see Mullard in the first grade. By oh, you can't. Oh, wow. <laughs> and you hadn't seen him since, probably. I had not seen him since. <laughs> wow, that, that brought back some memories, I'm sure. Yeah. So. I said, oh, most of my boy, your t-shirt. So after the long time, we had to talk to him. Yeah. But shortly after, I told him, well, I had a picture from school. And we are taught, I said, in the video, my picture of each group. Oh, you did? In one of the groups. Do you still have any of those? Yes, you I do? do. Oh wow, I'd love to see those sometime. So, I'll have to come back another time and we can go through all those. Yeah. That'd be fun. I bring them with me. Yeah. Oh, because they're in California. Yeah. Yep. So I'm back up Palm Bull's picture. But he passed away before I got to him. My mother to his son, and he wrote me a thank you. And he did not have a picture of me yet. Oh, yeah, that was nice. Yeah, those are always fun to see. And at that time, they were back here trying to find out more about the children and where they were buried at. Oh. And we suggest the same Matthews out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think most of the Stillmans are out there. I think so too. Yeah. So, yeah, well, let's see what time it's going to be. Well, I think that's probably a good start for today. <laughs> yeah, high uh, school. Well, it might be in high school. At that time, they had. Normal training, so you could be out and be a teacher from high school. Oh, 
and for us goes to no more pray. And in the senior year, you had to take a test. Yeah, yeah, a grade, a grade above A to become a teacher. You pass, you get your certificate for three years. So that I have a scholarship for Carnegie. Right. And but one summer, you saw I have one new business book came me and typed me. But to bring you my teacher speaking, I have three hours in the kitchen with me. So I took that course bodily through Carnegie. Then I took my test. After one normal house was there, I stayed at Carr Falls. So then I renewed my certificate for two more years. So that was my sixth year. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I love all those stories. So I'm, I'm going to have to, next time if you bring those pictures, we'll go through those when you're back. And then, uh, how long are you? He'll be here till August. Till August. Denver, so really. Not another. Yep. So and I, next time I'm gonna try to come back sometime soon, and we'll I'll bring my map of Holbrook from 1929, because you were saying that you know where all the places actually were. There is an old map of Holbrook. They were showing. You have one. the map, right? I do. Yeah. My gr It was my great grandpa's. Yeah. But it's a big one that rolls out. Right Shows here the on the corner, maybe, is me a croquet place where the men would come for croquet. Really? But to be a mom, mother's day, the Markham Hotel was there, and her mother was Markham. And Motel, a hotel, and they had a hay barn behind the motel. Oh, the hay barn caught fire and burned. And Mother said, a teacher from the school was carrying two buckets of water down the street to help put out the fire. Wow. Yeah. I that was written on the map, the two boys playing in the hay barn with firecrackers or something started the fire. Back in 26. In 26. Yeah. And the, the, the ski hotel yeah. across the street. Yeah. I, yeah, I know where that one is. That's and Mother always said, I think right then, was the lady's hat shop. Oh, hmm. I never knew that. Yeah. The ladies had. I believe she had something. Yeah. And I think that, that was she right and home on a LMA and grocery store. And but they come in from the country to try the argument there. And but her books go home. There was a second candy. Oh, yeah. There are pretty good. Mom's really happy. And you remember the bandstand? Yes, and I it, do. Was it on that side, the east side? Or it what? was on this side. And the layers are moved mm -hmm. over on this side. That's, yeah. And Barbara's first dad had mad concerts on Thursday nights. On Thursday nights. And they, that bandstand's still in Pioneer Village now. And Barbara knows. I saw a picture recently. They, they actually are, they repainted it and stuff because they're trying to revive some things there. Yeah. So that's good to see. I, I would love now that they tore down all those buildings, if we could bring it back or, you know, if, It'd be cool to have it back where it used to sit, but it's probably the part of the grocery store was. Yeah. 
was a hardware store. Read by McGuire. McGuire. M E U U I R E. And they said that was the person. Person. So you came up with a lot of yeah. This side and this side. Well, this side of a person, right? He lived on the cornhouse, right? Teddy corn. The other side was the rubber shop. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You could do either. You could do anything there. There's <laughs> lots of options. I tried the barber name. Made that book by Pete Wilson. His wife and Pete wife were sisters. Oh, yeah. Mm. And my high school name was always high school days. Everybody play hooky. <laughs> yeah, Hannah probably did that. <laughs> I was senior. We said he was to Raffo. Raffo called home for We asked so long after school, for so long I got caught up on my work. Yeah, you, you made it up. Well, thank you for all those stories, and uh, uh, I hope to come over again and we can continue talking about different things and what you remember while you're back this summer, because I live right down the streets. So. Yeah, I know you know. Yep, so you, yep, you told me all the history about my house that I never knew, so thank you for that. <clears throat> the church, I tell you, Jan, Lily, and Terry, and Betty Jane. My classmate. Okay. Lived there. And she was his daughter, Lillian, was his daughter, Ken Wright. The other station. Okay. And we used to put the street up in. Mm -hmm. The house, of course, is not there now, is mm -hmm. gone. But it was called a Brooklyn play. Oh, yep. I've, I know I've seen some of that family in the cemetery. Yeah. Brook, Brookhoven. You know, the house on the highway. Oh. Last one on this side, as you go to the road, right? That's where the Brookhovens lived. She was very large, and their daughter, Yale, was very large. But he was a small guy. A small guy, yeah. <laughs> and after folks passed me, he opened me the house down there and just tore down. Mm -hmm. uh, large, but... The, there is a lot of history. And mom passed from me, I... Uh, Moving place over was a moving town, better than Rocco. Really? Wow. Yeah, you would. That's what they said back in the day. It was quite the town, or you know, at one time it was just as big as a Rocco. Yeah, everybody yeah. would park in the center of the street too. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, lumber, lumber mill was kicking. Everything. Uh -huh. And so I bring my farm life was from there. It was there. It was like the big city when you came here into town. All right. Yeah. Because the famous. That's the one where she's a school teacher. What's that? There you go. Oh, you got one? Oh, wow. That's cool. The one guy brought it in, and I took a picture of it. Nice. That's just you.